Nolan, thank you for, very much for joining us. We appreciate the time. Robert's nervous. How, <laughs> Robert yeah, I mean, uh, this we're is a big one. Them. It's a big one. This is a big time guest here. <laughs> Don't let's, mess it up. Let's not mess it up. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, I, I know you worked on your swing in the off season. What what can you tell us without revealing, you know, state secrets? That what were you trying to accomplish, and how gratifying is it to see the results pay off like this right away? I think. Well, first of all, I appreciate it, and uh, I think. One of the things I've been looking for is how can I hit the ball harder and get more miles per hour off the bat. Um, that's kind of been my goal. I've been feel like I've done a little bit better job this year of that compared to last year. But <clears throat> the best players in the game hit the ball the hardest, and uh, I know their swings are really good. But there's, I think you know you got to hit the ball hard. To, you know, I guess these pitchers. And that's just kind of my whole focus this year is when how can I just focus on hitting the ball as hard as hard as I can. Um, and that's been my goal the whole year and it, I feel like it's a residual effect as far as getting myself in a better position to hit and seeing the ball better and all those little things. Are you normally a hot start guy? I don't know. I feel like every year is different. You know, yeah. I feel like I've always started off pretty good. <clears throat> um, last year, I think I didn't start out great. A um, couple years in Colorado, I didn't start off great, but I've had some years where I've started off really well. And uh, it's a good feeling, obviously, when you start off well, because, you know, you feel like, you know, you, you, going into a season, you never know what's going to happen, but it feels good to see that the hard work in spring training and see it play in effect early. Do you work on the same thing every spring or is it kind of tailor-made to each season and what you feel like you need to work on? I think it's just tailor-made every season and see what you need to work on. I think, you know, obviously there's a lot of things I want to keep that I like, that I that I like that I do, but I think after last season, I think there were some things that I needed to change and it was good to see that it was working in spring and now it's working right now. Hey, I view you as a no-nonsense grinder player. Just, I don't know you uh, as far as meeting up and seeing what you're all about, but just watching the way you play, Nolan, uh, it's impressive for me as a pitcher, especially as a third baseman. I had some good ones. I threw a lot inside. I really needed that side of the infield, especially third. But, you know, what do you, what's the gratification? I know we say, ask these questions about guys that are really good defensively, and yes, you could rake, but do you realize how much the residual positivity comes from your ability to play third base as well as you do? I don't know. I, I probably don't think about it a whole lot, but I know that defense and pitching, you know, gets you a long, you know, gets you far. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm trying to do is just help these pitchers out the best I can. And uh, I take a lot of pride in trying to keep their ERAs as low as I can if the ball's hit toward me. And, uh, you know, I, I want to help them out. I want to find a way to help this team win. I think that's the best thing when, you know, if it's not working out offensively, you know, you can help the team defensively. And, uh, well, That's win. kind of my focus is trying to play both sides of the ball. Yeah, three-run homers win games. But that right there, I can't tell you how much. Yeah. Th th there's 12 guys on your pitching staff that really appreciate it. Of course, your manager <laughs> does too. All right, so yeah. you're in Kansas City. Before we got on here off air, you got Nolan Ryan over your left shoulder. And I said, oh, that's cute, Nolan. You, you got Nolan behind you. And you said you were named after him. Yeah. Yes, yeah, and I'm why? Nolan Ryan. Who? I hadn't first, like I told you, I didn't know this picture was here. 12, 10 game caught up. Don't let it catch up on you, but it's catching up on me right now. And, uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, it's a pretty cool picture. I mean, it's signed too, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Has your dad, wait a minute, was it dad or uncle or mom or I don't know. I think my mom picked it or my dad. I don't know. They, you know, they just named, they love the name Nolan All right. and uh, they went with it and uh, it's, it's, I like it. It sounds good so far. And obviously to be named after a great pitcher and a great player like him, it's an honor. All right. I'm not going to try and get you in trouble here, but what the other day I'm watching on my couch and Johan Lopez goes up and in and you go, Bamo, do it again. Bamo, <laughs> do it again. And then I yeah. remember Luis Perdomo where you went out like gladiator, gladiator and Tiger swiped at him in Colorado. <laughs> do you just black out in these moments? Kind of take me through what's your thoughts. Yeah, man. I mean, I don't know. You know, I, you put me on the spot here, Mark. Did man. you know? On, did you man. know he was coming up and in right there? You kind of had it in back. I mean, I don't head. know about. It. I, I figured something was going to happen there. Um, I get it. You know what I mean? But uh, well, I appreciate. The I appreciate the effort. Yeah, it's Do part it of the again. game. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> No, <laughs> D. Rowe said that he never wanted to ask for autographs, right, on a baseball field. Yeah, don't but, green fly. Yeah, don't green fly. But, but Clayton Kershaw and Don Mattingly were exceptions. There was a couple that I asked. Okay, a few. I remember you ended a press conference one time saying, Albert, I love you. I hope you get to go out the right way. Now, full circle. Now you're there. Mm. Tell me about the relationship and the best advice he's given you. 
Yeah. Well, obviously just the relationship has been great. Um, you know, he, I played with him in the off season before, um, but the relationship has been great. Just talking about the game. And honestly, you know, he's taught me, we're talking about certain things, how to approach pitchers and all that's been great. But honestly, just watching him work has actually helped me the most. Um, watching how he goes about his work, watching his cage work, all those little things that I, I see how he's doing it. And now I apply it to my, I'm trying to apply it to my game. You know, just watching him finish high in batting practice. So okay. my whole batting practice, all I'm trying to do is finish high. And uh, mm. I feel better now because I'm just watching him do it. Um, I mean, just, you know, just seeing him do it. Like he never like, you know, you see, guys that swing and sometimes they finish like low or whatever. He's always finishing high on every swing and batting practice. It's amazing to watch. And I'm like, I don't know why he's doing that, but I'm going to start doing it. Just it looks great. It's and, working and every ball is hitting his backspin. So I'm going to start doing it. So, and honestly, I feel it. I feel like it helps my posture. It cleans up some things to really focus on finishing high. Mm. So I'm doing it now just by watching him. Well, and it's a confident player, too, because I always thought, you know, I was lucky enough to play until I was 40, and I always tell young players, I said, you never have it figured out. You're always tweaking and tinkering and, like you just said, watching Albert. But what are some of the things, you know, perennial all-star, you know, great contract, you, you solidified your baseball career, you know, the nuance within week to week that people don't really know the work that goes into it three hours, four hours before the game. What are some of the things that, you know, you're always kind of, I got to work on this. Yeah. I think, well, obviously making sure my body's ready to go every game. Um, you know, I know, you know I'm 31 now and I'm not saying I'm, you know, old and know the game kind of makes you feel like you're old when you're in your thirties. But, you know, I, I feel, you know, I got to focus on these things a little bit more compared to when I was younger, as far as making sure I'm loose, making sure my body's firing, all those little things. And, um, you know, I think that's a little bigger focus, and I feel like that helps me with my swing. It helps me with the way I move on defense, all those little things. You know, I used to think, oh, my swing's not good just because my swing's not good. I need to fix my swing, so I hit, hit, hit. Well, actually, maybe my body's not firing the right way. Mm -hmm. So making sure my body's in the right place, that's going to probably help me hit and play defense better. Are you going down, like, because I go down that Tom Brady wormhole mm -hmm. where, like, this guy basically <laughs> sold his soul, right? Yeah. Muscle pliability, the eating, everything. He's given it. Are you at that point? where your off-season is kind of dedicated to your body in the game and staying healthy? For sure, for sure. I think really? uh, mm -hmm. all those little things. You know, last night I want there's Snickers ice cream in the freezer here, and I was like, yes. dang, dude, that thing looks money. <laughs> um, and I was like, damn, that thing looks money. And then I'm like, oh, 12-10 game, I probably shouldn't do it, so I didn't do it. So I'm pretty proud that I was able to hold back. Maybe oh, when I was younger, I would definitely yeah. probably crush two of those bad boys. But oh. now I'm older, crush I know, four hey, you know what? You got to take it easy. So I guess those little things I've been trying to focus on and be a little bit better about it. Snickers ice cream bar or a pint? Oh, it was a bar. Oh, I saw it. It was a bar. He's going to get it today. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, he's going to get it. Yeah. Three for four and away we go. Nolan, is that, is that your go-to cheat or treat, the, the Snickers ice cream? or you, No. No, I just saw it in the freezer and it was just staring at me, man. And, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> yeah. That's... What are we having for breakfast before this one? They had omelet, peppers, onions, spinach, turkey, uh, bacon, and then oatmeal. All right. Oh, there healthy. You go. Wow, he's ready to go. Let's go. Well, Nolan, yep. congratulations on being named the uh, yeah. National League yeah. Player of the Month. Congratulations on all your success, and thank you for making time for us. No, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for having me. Thank yes. you.